Hi, this is going to be just a really quick mail call video. I've just got one box uh, to open today. I got a heads up on this. This was sent in from Brian in Pennsylvania. I was excited to get it in. I've been waiting for it for the last couple days and I thought I would just open it up real quick because I want to see what it is. As far as I know, this is something that I've never seen one of before. And I couldn't really find any information out about it. So I think it's kind of rare. Let's see if we can open it up here without destroying everything. All right, so we've got nicely packed. We've got a bunch of this crinkled paper in here. That's messy. Go ahead and take this out. Put this off to the side. I'm at the shop today doing this. I'm not at the office. So I'm not going to throw the boxes all over the floor because I don't want to make a mess in the shop. Go ahead and unwrap this in some bubble wrap. Oh, it's bigger than I would have thought. So what we've got here is a Newtone lighted door knocker. And it says Newtone illuminated solid brass door knocker. Uh, it's called the Beacon, styled by Newtone. Easily installed, battery operated. Let's see what it says over here. It says, ask your dealer to show you the many styles of beautiful Newtone chimes. They are universal gifts for weddings, anniversaries, and all gift occasions. And we've got the old style Newtone logo here it says Newtone Incorporated Cincinnati Ohio on this side we have installation instructions it says to install the Newtone beacon type or print your name on the card place cellophane in front of the card and insert in the snap-in slide flexible metal strip in last attach base plate to door place casting on base using brass screw and nut furnished in envelope. Do not use brass polish, merely clean with mild soap and a soft cloth. That's always good advice. And on the back, we have a picture of a pretty traditional fancy door with a door knocker on it right there. And it says, Newtone eliminates fumbling in the dark for the right key. Just raise the door knocker arm and select your key instantly. Operates on a standard flashlight battery C size. Easily replaced. Battery lasts a long time because light is only used when the knocker arm is raised. Adds beauty to any doorway. Has bake lacquer finish for outdoor protection. I've never seen anything like this before. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Wow. So it's a Nothing else in the box. It's kind of a big thing. Give you some idea how big it is. There's my hand, which is big, and it's as long as my hand. And it indeed has a light bulb down here in the bottom. And apparently, it says John J. Jones. I don't think that's who owned it. I think that's uh, the name that comes on all of them. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. So we've got a brass acorn nut right here. We'll take that off. And I think we have to take the screw out of the top. And you can lift the cover off the base. And here's the base assembly. So we've got this steel channel. It's got light bulb down here with a little reflector. And a spot for the two, looks like C size cells. And a little switch assembly right here. Which it says when you raise the knocker, it turns the light on. So then here's the knocker and on the inside there's a metal there's a brass tab this is all really heavy there's this brass tab 
And so when you raise the knocker, it moves the tab. And the tab pushes on this. And somehow that makes it turn on. Let's take a look and see. So when you move the, when you raise the arm, the knocker, it makes the tab swing, pushes on the switch, and I guess it makes a connection down inside. I don't know if I actually see how that actually works or what it makes a connection to. May, oh, I. Okay, so what it does is the the brass body is part of the switch circuit because it's screwed to the base. Let's go ahead and see if I've got some C size batteries. I don't know if I do or not, and we'll put them in here and see what happens. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So as luck would have it, I don't have any C cells because in today's world, what uses C cells anymore? Nothing uses C cells. Anyway, uh, so what I did is I've got it sort of hacked in here on my bench DC power supply. I've got it set at three volts at 250 milliamps, and that would be pretty close to two C cells. I have it wired up just with the leads, one end of the battery contact and the other. And indeed, when you lift the uh, knocker up, the light turns on. How clever is that? So you come home late at night and you've got an armload of groceries and it's dark. I guess if you had an armload of groceries and it was dark and you had to find the key, it would be kind of hard to lift this up to light it up. But uh, nevertheless, it is a rather novel item. And I suppose that it would last, the batteries would last a long time because it's only on when you lift up the knocker. So that's pretty interesting. I don't know when this was made or when it's from. I'm going to guess based on the box and all of that, that it's got to be pre-war 1940s. It's probably not 30s because it says Cincinnati, Ohio, and it doesn't say Eggleston Avenue, which is the first location of Newtown. So it's probably after they moved, which was in 1939. So it's probably 1940 up through 1942 or something like that. But it's a unique item. I've never seen one like this. I can't find any literature on it anywhere. It's just kind of a cool uh, item that probably actually wasn't that popular. Maybe it was and they only made it for a few years and then they discontinued it or maybe it wasn't that popular and they dropped it after a few years. I don't know. I've never seen one. If you have one of these, let me know. Tell me if it still works or not. It probably would be good to see what kind of bulb it takes. Let's take a quick look at that. So there's the little bulb that came out of it. It's a little threaded miniature bulb. All it says on it is it has a number it says two and then it says three volts. That's all it says. Let's take a closer look here. Most miniature bulbs there'll be a number stamped on it. But I don't see anything like that. I'm gonna guess that it's pretty it's a pretty common type of bulb that you would have in a two cell flashlight of the day. And it just screws in the, into the reflector. The reflector pops out easily enough, which makes it a lot easier to change out the bulb. And you can just screw it together. And pop it back into the holder. Seems like it should be easy enough to put back in. Like that. So when you put the batteries in, one battery contact sits up against the base of the bulb and the other battery contact sits up against a little springy contact right here, which is on a little piece of fiberglass board, which insulates it from the housing, which is screwed to the cover, which is part of the switch. And that's how it actually works. So it's pretty good design, pretty easy. I think probably early 40s. I wish I had a date on it. That would make it better, easier to know. Anyway, that's something that was really cool that I haven't seen before. It's the new tone illuminated brass door knocker, the beacon. How's, how cool is that? This will definitely go in the museum in my office. That's all for today. I hope you found this interesting and perhaps helpful. 
If you did, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube because that always helps. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. There'll be a banner right here that shows you how to subscribe. Go to our YouTube homepage, click on the bell or on the, on the wheel, put in your email address, and we post a new video. You'll get an email letting you know. That's all for today. See you on the next video.